welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 10, verses 1 through 12, and verses 17 through 20. And let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage proclaimed by Michael Toole. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. At that time, the Lord appointed 72 others, whom he sent ahead of him in pairs, to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick in it, and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, The dust of your town that clings to our feet, even that we shake off against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day than for that town. The 72 returned rejoicing and said, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice, because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. We are the successors of the 72 disciples in Luke's gospel. For we too are called to mission. We are called to announce that the kingdom of God is at hand. For most of us, That proclamation is by our mere presence to the other. We are called less to preach with our lips and more to preach with our lives. When we reach out to the scorned and marginalized, when we assist the migrant and the poor, when we choose peace over violence, when we exalt truth over falsehood and forgiveness over vengeance, When we choose love over hate, life over death, it is then that we proclaim the kingdom of God in our midst. It is then that we continue the job of the 72 disciples started on the pages of scripture. In the Eucharist, while we're at mass, we draw as close to God as is humanly possible and we further the possibility of God's word being born in our hearts. May every celebration of the Eucharist strengthen us to become true ministers of presence, leading others to know the love of Jesus Christ just by the way we live our lives. Amen. After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate its message. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you, either through a verse or even just a word that touches you, and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to Him. And let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer. 
and let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by contemplating your sacred word, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in always. And may his blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>